Captain Spartan 04 writes, so we just watched Georgia absolutely destroy TCU in the national championship. From Yin's perspective, what makes football just so different in the South and the SEC? And I, I'm going to take this off the top because I Thank lived you. in SEC country for five years of my life, Thank both at the University of Missouri and I started my career in Knoxville, Tennessee, where the University of Tennessee is. For me, it's the regionality to where a lot of these cities don't have a pro team nearby. So if you're in East Tennessee, the closest pro team that you can go to, if you want to drive two and a half hours down Interstate 40, you could go see the Tennessee Titans play in Nashville, but it's the regionality. And it's also, it's like to say football's religion in the South is an understatement. Like when you've won 13 of the last 17 national championships, okay, why is that? And then I look at the recruiting standpoint because I think about the players. And I, we talk about this all the time. Okay, where's this specific player from? I'm telling you where all the best recruits from. And if I were a college coach, where I would try to recruit. Florida, Louisiana, Georgia, parts of Texas, California. It's not to say that there aren't great players from Pennsylvania or Ohio, but right. in the southern states, when you can train year-round, you can have seven seven-on-seven seven leagues year-round. And it's warm outside to where you can go outside and you can work on drills. You can work on running. You can work on your strength. You can work on your speed. You know, where I grew up in the Chicago suburbs, like you would have to go to an indoor facility to do a lot of this during the winter time. And you don't have that benefit of, hey, I can be outside year round in the South. So to answer that question, Ike, it's regionality, it's climate, and it's where a hotbed of players come in the league. And I, I would venture to say, Ike, I, I don't know this for a fact, but if you took a look at all of the players that are currently in the NFL, where are they from? I, I would put good money that they're either from Florida, Louisiana, Texas, or California. So you get so the reason the reason why the mentality is just different down south. Um, we feel like we always got our back against the wall down south, but it's a sudden hospitality, and, and that's what I tell people. Um, Mr. Yes, ma'am, no, no, ma'am, yes, sir, no, sir, holding yourself accountable. Personality down south. That's just what it is. But it's the competition we just love to compete. So not only you, not only down south do you give us good weather that we can train year round, we respect alphas and we acknowledge them. So it's man, I got to be better than you. Yeah, you got me today, but I got to be way better than you. I think the competition is way just totally different. I think the mindset is just different down south. That's exactly what it is. Like when it went, when <laughs> I say this all the time between New Orleans boys and Miami boys, we the same. We just in two different states because <laughs> we always feel like our backs, our backs against the wall, and we always, we always feel like we got something to prove. That's that's how I feel. And the competition is just here. If you if you think you're good, you come to a down south team. That's where you come to. And I tell people, I tell people this. Man, Florida boys think they was born to play football. That's just their personality. New Orleans boys that feel like they were just born to play football. That's just their personality. You know, they, we don't have the luxury like a Texas where you're in high school and you have a a seventy million dollar stadium. There is no luxury. We got potholes. We got glass. We got dirt slash slash turf on our fields. So it's a little bit different. We don't have the water breaks. We don't have. We don't have a a training staff that's, you know, 75, 80 people. We don't, we don't have that. It's, it's okay. They call a timeout. We catch a water break. And we're down here in that swamp, that humidity, that, 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 that dirt, that gut, that you can't even walk outside because you got to come home and take another shower <laughs> from your mailbox kind of mentality. Yep. But we yep. love it. But we love it. So everybody, I don't care where you're from. If you think you're good, you coming south. The only thing we're getting from the West Coast, and this is no disrespect. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> quarterbacks from the West Coast because mm -hmm. they're always cool, calm, and collective. And what the heck you want in your quarterback? You want a cool, calm, collective kind of guy. You're getting, you're getting your quarterback from either Cali or Texas because in Texas, 7-on-7 seven seven is real high. They play year-round. The boys get number reps. So, you know, if you get a, a quarterback from Texas, you got action. He gonna know where to go once he get to college because in high school he had so many reps. I mean, when you want to talk about offense and defense alignment, man, just look at Florida, Texas, Louisiana, Alabama, South Carolina. When you want to talk about uh, 
wide receivers just look at Florida. When you want to talk about uh, DBs or wide receivers, look at Florida, look at Louisiana, look at some of Texas. It's just it's just the mentality down here. So up north, I would say the weather kind of hinders y'all up north. When you want yep. to talk about up north, you talk about offensive linemen, you talk about uh, wrestling, you talk about a lot of indoor mm -hmm. activities up north. Down south, our, our mentality is just all the way different. We're outside all day. I mean, if you look at it, Mark, it's 60 something degrees at nine o'clock. In Florida, it's going to be 78 degrees on Sunday. Up north, <laughs> it's, it's not like that. So we always in our shorts and the hoodie down south. So we always outside, but that mud a little bit different. The dirt down here a little bit different. The soil down here a little bit different. It's swampy down here, baby. It's swampy down here. So, you know, when you when you go into that swamp, man, your mentality got to be different. Ain't no swamp up north. Ain't no swamp on the West Coast. Once you step foot in any region down south, understand, man, we always got a chip on our shoulder. Ike, I could talk to you about this till sundown. And I have never thought about the regionality when it comes to position groups. Because the two guys in high school I played with that were teammates of mine that made it in the NFL – Shout out to Matt Lacoste and James O'Shaughnessy. They're both NFL tight ends. They played receiver and quarterback for us in high school. But you think about the regionality of the position groups by region because of which all the reasons you just outlined. Well said, Ike. Well said.